Hello children, welcome back to Maths class. So in today's class, let us continue with international system of numbers. So in our previous classes, we have learned about Indian system of numbers. In international system of numbers also, we are going to make groups that is the periods from units place. Units group, then the thousands, then the millions. One more new word added that is millions. Okay. So, under units group, we will be having the places ones, tens and hundreds. And under thousands, we have thousand, ten thousand and hundred thousand. Then under the millions, we will be having millions, 10 million and 100 million. Okay. So, I will repeat once again the groups that is the first period, units period, thousands period and in the millions period. Under units period, we have ones, tens and hundreds. The same order how we had in case of an Indian system. Then in the thousands period, we have thousand, ten thousand and one extra. It is like not extra, it is the changed word. Okay, it is the changed word. In Indian system, we are going to denote it by lakh. Is it not? Hundred thousand is equal to lakh. Okay, then under millions, we have as a first million after the lakh in Indian system we have 10 lakh same million and 10 lakh both are same next is 10 million so 10 million is equal to crore okay so 10 million means crore then 100 million means 10 crore 10 crore okay so here itself the place are going to change with the different name but the value remains the same now let us write the number name in international system so for that we have to follow our rule for the comma so in indian system we have started from the rightmost first group of three digits then a group of two digits but in case of international system we have to make a group of three digits starting from the right okay let me put a comma for the first number starting from the right side first group of three digits one two three after the third digit we have to put the first comma then also the group continues with three digits that is First, next to three digits, then we are going to put the comma. Okay. So, this is how we are going to put the comma in case of international system. Now, we will write the number name for this. Before that, we will write the places so that it is easier for us to write the number name. So, starting from the right side, ones, then ten. 100, 1000, 10,000, then after 10,000, yes, it is 100,000 in case of international system, 100,000, then it is million, okay, so million, so we will write the number name for this now, 2 million, 2 million in 100,000 place we have 0 we will take 35 that means 35,000 35,000 then these 3 digits are going to be read together 708 708 8. I will repeat again 2 million 35,708. Let us go with the second question. 
So starting from the right side, group of three digits. First comma, then group of three digit. Next comma, then anyhow we have last three digits left. We will write the places of these numbers. Ones, ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, and this is yes, hundred thousand, hundred thousand. Then million, million, ten million. Then hundred million. Okay, so three is in hundred million place. One is in ten million place. Five is in million place. Seven is in hundred thousand place. Okay, so these four places are new for you. So that's what I'm repeating it. Okay, so we can read this one as three hundred fifteen million. Three hundred fifteen million seven hundred five. Thousand nine hundred ninety-five. Okay, so I'll write the number name now. Three hundred fifteen million. Then seven hundred five thousand seven hundred. Five thousand, then nine hundred ninety-five, nine hundred ninety-five. Okay. Now let us write the following numbers in figures. I'll read the first question: two million five hundred fifty thousand three hundred six. Okay, so it is two million, two million five hundred fifty thousand five hundred fifty thousand. Okay, three hundred six, three hundred six. Okay. So two million. It is the two million five hundred fifty thousand. This is the thousands period. Thousands period. Million period. Then this is the units period. Okay. So two million five hundred fifty thousand three hundred six is the units. Okay. Same order. We will go on with the second B question. Five hundred six. Million, five hundred six million. So it is a millions place. Five hundred six million, comma nine hundred twelve. There is no thousands period. So in that place we have to put zero. In thousands period we have thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand. That means you have to put three zeros. Three zeros because the thousands period we don't have any digit here. So three zeros, then nine hundred twelve, nine hundred twelve. So this is the thousands and the units place, units period. Okay. So five hundred six million nine hundred twelve. Children, in today's class. we are going to learn one more numbering system that is roman numerals the symbols for the roman numerals are i is for one i for one v is for five x for 10 l for 50 c 100 m is 1000 I'll repeat again. I one, V five, X ten, L fifty, C is hundred, Yum 
is thousand. So today's class we are going to learn the letters up to C. Okay, that is one, five, ten, fifty, and hundred. Children, according to convention, the complex symbols are formed by following the rules here. That is the first rule. X when written to the left of L and C, we have to subtract. I'll repeat again. X when written to the left of L and C, we have to subtract. For example, X, L. Okay, X and L. So here, this means 50 minus 10. 50 minus 10. We know that L is the symbol for 50. And left of L, we have written X. That means we have to subtract 50 minus 10 gives us 40. Okay. So 50 minus 10 gives us 40. The same order, we will take one more for C. X. C. Okay. So we know that C is a symbol for 100. It is 100 minus 10. Left of C we have X. 100 minus 10 gives us 90. 90. So 90 is represented in Roman numerals as X C. And 40 is represented as X L. And remember one more point. X can be subtracted only from L and C. It is being subtracted only from L and C. Let us go with the second point. X when written to the right of L or C we are going to add to the right of L or C. The operation is addition. Let us take an example. C, X. Okay. C, X. C is representing 100. X is 10. Right of C, we have X. That means 100 plus 10 gives 110. Okay. So, C, X is the symbol for 110. One more, L, X. Okay, L, X. L is a symbol for 50. X is 10. 50 plus 10. The answer is 60. Okay, so C, X is a symbol for 110. L, X is for 60. Okay. And remember one more point, you cannot repeat X more than three times. It is only three times you need to repeat. Here I have taken only once, okay. Here I have taken only once, but you can take three times X, okay. Then the third point, V and L are never repeated and never subtracted. We should not be subtracting them with any other symbol. So, V and L are never repeated and never subtracted. And 1 is subtracted from V and X only. It has to be subtracted from V and X only. Now, we will solve few of the problems in this class and let us understand better way. Now, let us write the following numbers in Roman numerals. The first question is number 47. Let us split the number first, then we will continue with the Roman numerals. So, it will be 40 plus 7, 47. Okay, we don't have any direct symbol for 40. We have to subtract 10 from 50 so that it is easier for us. Okay, it will be 50 minus 10 plus even for 7 also we don't have a direct 
symbol. So we have to add 2 for the digit that is the 5. So 5 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 7. Okay. So 50 minus 10. 50 symbol is L and minus 10 means X should come to the left of L. X, L. Then the symbol for 5 is V, then I and I. So it will be X, L, V, I and I. So this is how we write the Roman numeral for 47. Let us go on with the next number. Number is 146. So let us divide the number first. 100 plus 40 plus 6. Okay. So we know the direct symbol for 100. It is C. Okay. Then 40 is 50 minus 10. X L. Okay. X L. And 6. We don't have a direct symbol. We have to take 5 and 1. That is B and I. Okay. So this order we write the Roman numeral for the number 146. Now we will write one more. That is write the following in Hindu Arabic numerals. I have given the Roman symbol. You have to write that one in Hindu Arabic. The first one, let us go with the first one. X, C and V. So X is to the left of C. It will be 100 minus 10. Yes, 100 minus 10. And we have the symbol V that means 5. Okay, 5 it is. So 100 minus 10 means 90. Plus 5 gives the answer 95. Okay. So 95. B question. First it is the letter C. C means 100. Okay. C means 100. Plus L is 50. 50. Plus I am taking plus because we are moving on to the right side. Plus x is 10. One more x. 10. Then plus 1. Okay. We will do the sum of this now. Answer is 171. Okay. The answer is 171. Children, in today's class we have learned international number system and Roman numerals. I have attached a worksheet along with this video. Solve that worksheet in your notebook. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Happy learning.